Welcome to Trig Spa 3. Today we are going to look at quadratic trig equations. Example 1. Solve for theta in the equation sine squared theta plus 3 equal 4 sine theta. 4 theta between 0 and 2 pi radians. So again, this means that we want our answers to be in radians. So for our solution, we start off by getting 0 on the right hand side of the equation. So we would have sine squared theta minus 4 sine theta plus 3 equals 0. And we are going to make a substitution to make it a bit easier for us to solve. So let's x equal sine theta. Then we would have x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal theta. And this can be factorized to give the factors x minus 1 and x minus 3 equal 0. And just as we would solve a quadratic in maths, we write each bracket equal to 0 and solve for x. So either x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0, then this would give x equal 1 and x equal 3. But we need to keep in mind that we did make a substitution, so now we need to resubstitute x equal sine theta. So if we do that, we would have on this side sine theta equal 1. So theta equal sine inverse of 1, and we want to find that value. So looking at this table, on this side we're looking at the row for sine theta. Here we see the value of 1, and if sine of pi over 2 equal 1, then sine inverse of 1 will give us back the pi over 2. So we are using this value for theta, and this is our principal solution. So since we have sine theta equal 1, where 1 is a positive number, this value of theta that is obtained is our first quadrant solution or principal solution. Sine is positive in the first and second quadrants. As seen on the diagram here, which we discussed in the last video, this is our first quadrant in which all of them are positive, sine, cos, and tan. The second quadrant is sine only, positive. Third quadrant, tan alone is positive, and fourth quadrant, cos alone is positive. So from here we can see that sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrants. So our first quadrant solution is the principal solution, so we just need to work out the second quadrant. So from our diagram, since we are working in radians, we are looking at what is written here in red. So theta would be pi minus alpha which is pi minus pi over 2, alpha is the principal solution here, and that gives us pi over 2. This is similar to 1 pi minus a half pi is a half pi, or pi over 2. On the other hand, where we have the x minus 3 equal 0, and we solve to get x equal 3, at this point we resubstitute the sine theta equal 3 here. So then theta equals sine inverse of 3, and if you put that into the calculator, you would get error. So therefore, there's no solution for this half. So a final solution for this question is what we received from our first part of it, which is theta equal pi over 2 from the principal solution part, and also the second quadrant is the same value. So in the end, we just need to list it once. Therefore, the solution is theta equal pi over 2. Example 2, given that 2 sine squared theta minus 5 theta plus 3, solve for theta, where theta is between 0 and 2 pi radians. So in our solution, we can, from this point, have 0 on the right-hand side, or we can make our substitution and then get the 0 on the right-hand side and solve. So if we let's x equals sine theta, we would have 2x squared equal 5x plus 3. Getting 0 on the right hand side will give us the equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. And this can be factorized to give 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 equals 0. At this point, we let each bracket equal 0 and solve for x. So we have either 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. So when 2x plus 1 equals 0, then x will give us minus a half. And on the right hand side, when x minus 3 equals 0, x will give us 3. 
But we need to keep in mind that again that we did make a substitution. It's not x we are solving for, but theta. So now we need to resubstitute x equals sine theta. So when x is equal to sine theta, we would have on the left hand side sine theta equal minus a half. Now when we have a negative value here, we take the inverse of the positive value and that will be our reference angle which will be used to find the values of theta in the quadrants where sine is negative. So we are finding theta equals sine inverse of a half and if we look at this table, we look for a half on this row, it's right here so then that means sine inverse of a half is pi over 6, that's where this value came from. So pi over 6 is our reference angle. So now we are looking at the quadrants in which sine is negative. Sine is negative in the third and fourth quadrants. So in the third quadrant, using this diagram, we can see that theta is pi plus alpha. So alpha is our reference angle. So theta equal pi plus pi over 6, which is 7 pi over 6. In our fourth quadrant, as seen in this diagram here, we are using what's written in red for radians. So theta would be 2 pi minus alpha. So that's 2 pi minus pi over 6, which gives us 11 pi over 6. We want our answer in terms of pi, so we can consider this to be 2 pi minus 1 sixth pi. We just subtract the numbers 2 minus 1 sixth, which will give 11 over 6, and you put in the pi. Looking at the second part of our solution here, where we had x equal 3, then sine theta equal 3, so theta equals sine inverse of 3, and again, we'll get error if we input that into the calculator, so there's no solution for this half. Therefore, our solution for this question comes from the first half of our working, in which we had theta equal 7 pi over 6 and theta equal 11 pi over 6. Example 3. Given that tan squared theta minor, sorry, plus 2 tan theta equal 3, solve for theta, where theta is between 0 and 2 pi radians. So I'm starting off by making a substitution. Let x equal tan theta. So this will give us x squared plus 2x equal 3. So we have an equation 2x squared, sorry, x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0, which can be factorized to give x plus 3 and x minus 1 equals 0. Writing each bracket equal to 0 and solving for x, we will get x equal minus 3 and x equal 1. So at this point, we are going to resubstitute our x equal tan theta. So that means that it's actually tan theta equal minus 3 and tan theta equal 1. And we are going to work out our values for each one. So let's look at this side of it first. So where we have tan theta equal minus 3, again, this is a negative value. So we are finding tan inverse of the positive value and we'll use that as a reference angle. Now when we look at our table for special angles, if I look at the rule for tan, there isn't any 3 here by itself. So therefore, we cannot get our answer in terms of pi exactly. So if we input in our calculators tan inverse of positive 3, we will get a decimal which we can express to two decimal places. So we have theta equal 1.25 radians. And this is now our reference angle, which we are going to use to find the values of theta in the quadrants where tan is negative. Looking at the diagram, we can see that tan is positive in the first and third quadrants, which means it will be negative in the other two. So tan is negative in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So looking at each one, in the second quadrant, theta would be pi minus alpha, where alpha is our reference angle. So theta, theta equal pi minus 1.25 radians equal 1.89 radians. In your calculators, we are just putting in pi using the pi button minus 1.25 equal, rounding off to two decimal places, we would have 1.89 radians. For the fourth quadrant, 
theta is equal to 2 pi minus alpha, which will give us 2 pi minus 1.25 radians, which is equal to 5.03 radians. Looking at the other half of the solution where we had x minus 1 equals 0 and x would be equal to 1, we are substituting again tan theta equal 1, so theta equal tan inverse of 1. Since this is a positive value, this is our principal solution. Just looking at our table, in the row for tan, we can see that if tan of pi over 4 is equal to 1, then the opposite also applies, tan inverse of 1 will give us pi over 4. So pi over 4 is our principal solution. Tan is positive in the first and third quadrants. This is our first quadrant solution already. So we just need to work out the value of theta in the third quadrant. From the diagram, we know that in the third quadrant, theta is equal to pi plus alpha. So that's pi plus our principal solution here. Pi plus pi over 4 is equal to 5 pi over 4. This is similar. To, this is just 1 pi plus a quarter pi. We'll give 1 and a quarter pi or 5 pi over 4. Remember our answers for this part can be written in terms of pi. So we would express it that way where possible. So our final solution would be combining both parts of it. Where we had from our first half, theta is equal to one point. 25 radians was a reference angle which was used to work out the other two values in which our solution would be the second and fourth quadrant solution 1.89 radians and 5.03 radians. In the second half when we worked it out we had pi over 4 is our principal solution and our third quadrant solution is 5 pi over 4. So our final solution would be all four of them where we have theta is equal to 1.89 radians, 5.03 radians, pi over 4, and 5 pi over 4 radians. So this brings us to the end of the examples and the tutorial. We have an assignment consisting of two questions for you all to try. Please attempt them and submit for me on Edmodo. And we can continue with our next tutorial on where we will be looking at an introduction to trig identities. Okay, so thank you for looking at the video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.